بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يدع اليتيم ولا يحظ على طعام المسكين فويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم يراءون ويمنعون الماعون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يدع اليتيم ولا يحض على طعام المسكين فويل للمصلين الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم يراءون ويمنعون الماعون So that's uh, the final ayah يمنعون الماعون This ayah and ولا يحض على طعام المسكين are depicting the same reality but it's taking the final step So you notice this surah began with an attitude that's inside the heart lying against the religion Then it transferred the discussion became crimes against people Then the discussion became crime against Allah. Then the discussion came back to what again? Crimes against people. The two things are intertwined with each other. You cannot separate them. They have become inseparable entities as far as Allah Azza wa is concerned. And people try to separate these two things. You know that? People say, I'm a charitable person. I'm a good person. I just don't pray. Right? And then there are people who pray very, very regularly, but they're horrible to their family and to the needs of the, need, the needy, and they're greedy in their wealth and cheat in their businesses, etc., etc. People try to separate these two things. What does Allah do in this surah? He makes the two things inseparable. You can't separate these two things. If, if you're good to people, you have to be good to Allah Azza wa If you're good to Allah Azza wa you have to be good to people. It's in, you know, he fused the two. And this is the logic of the Qur'an. It doesn't let you fall into these extremes and traps and you know, boxes that you create for yourselves, it keeps you balanced. Every surah produces its own set of balance, you know, that, that, that keeps us from falling into these moral dilemmas and these problems that we have. We're almost done inshaAllah ta'ala, bear with me. Al-ma'oon. Uh, one of the description of al-ma'oon, and by the way, وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَعُونَ And they forbid, they forbid al-ma'oon. Ma'oon has been interpreted by many scholars, even some sahaba as zakat. Also, very interesting definition from a literary point of view. هُوَ مَا لَا يُبْخَلُ بِهِ كَالْمَاءِ وَالْمِلْحِ وَالنَّارِ It is that which you cannot possibly be cheap in, like water. You can't possibly be cheap in it. But Allah says at the end of this surah, they forbid even ma'oon. They are that cheap. They are that, you know, the heart of the heart. It's not even bukhul here. There's something more here. They can't see a smile on somebody's face. They can't find themselves doing something good for someone. The first thought that comes in their mind is, why should I help him? Why, why, should, why should I help you? Why should I give you some help? Why should I give you a ride? I don't care. I don't owe you anything. I don't need this. This attitude, not because, not that I can't, not that I will you need to use it if you don't use it. I just don't want to. I don't like you. I don't want to help you. This is, you know, qaswat al-qalb, the harsh, the hardness of the heart. Meaning Allah mentions things one after another that make your heart harder, harder, harder. And it comes to the point where even somebody asks you for something small, they ask you for a napkin, they ask you, you knock on your door from the neighbor and they say, can I have some salt? No! And you slam the door in their face. Think they're gonna get salt from me? Ha! <laughs> you know? Pathetic! This is a pathetic attitude. But this is how low a person will reach. And you call yourself leaders? You call yourselves custodians of the house of Allah? You, that Allah has, Allah Azza wa Jalla says, أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِّن جُوعٍ In the previous surah, I fed you, I gave you food, and you're gonna act like this? It's like it's yours? You can be like this if it was yours. I gave you the food. And you're gonna hold it back like this? SubhanAllah, the contrast between what Allah demand, what, gave, what He gave them, and the behavior that they're showing. So, this surah, 
as far as the teachings of the deen, one of the core teachings of the deen, even if you don't remember the ayat and the proofs and the evidence, the teaching, the lesson for life in this deen is essentially very, very simple. The two things that will keep your heart soft and keep prove to you that you are not in denial of the final you know, reward and punishment. The deen, that deen. The two proofs of it are how you pray and how much you give. Giving, your dealings with people, and your prayer to Allah Azza wa Jal. These are an indication of how strong your belief in the Akhirah is. And what you should, you should be expecting from it. And if our prayers are weak, that's a life project now. That becomes a mission. And if our dealings with the orphans, and we don't even talk about the needs of the other. If we're not concerned about these things, then these things become a concern first and foremost in your own family. You know for a fact there are people in your family that need help. And there are some people you don't like. You don't like your cousin, you don't get along with him, but he needs help. You don't like your aunt, she yells at you, she's annoying, but she needs help, she's financially in need. These people deserve it no matter what, because you're not doing it for them. You're doing it because it proves to you for yourself, and inshallah ta'ala it's a case with Allah that you believe in being paid back in the end. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us of those who believe truly in our hearts. May Allah Azza wa Jal correct our prayers and keep them from these, you know, these despicable acts. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us the best to each other and to all of humanity and make us living models of the beauty of this deen. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim wa nafa'ni wa iyaakum bil ayati wa dhikri al-Hakim. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.